and welcome to this very special Player 2 episode or podcast, whatever the hell we're going to call this thing. Uh, and I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, and the future bloody politician, Terry Campisi. How are you, mate? Oh, good. Um, yeah, exciting times ahead and you've got me nice and early. Day two of campaigning. So <laughs> day two of campaigning. Who would have thought? We're, we're not, not going to bore everyone with uh, politics. That's, that's Terry's day, day job. Uh, now we're, we're going to talk about something that's much better, better. and that's the player two. Uh, Terry Campisi Foundation Charity Marathon that we're running again. This is our fifth, fifth year running it and... Um, we, we thought, thought it'd be, be fun to have a chat with some of the key members, members involved in the foundation. So we've, we've, we've talked, talked with other members, members already, but we've, we've got, got to talk, you know, his, his face is on the, the main page, right? So we've, so we've got, got to talk to the main men. And, uh, and, you know, I, I want to hear from you. Give us, give us the rundown. If, if, if no one knew who you were, um, you know, let, let's say they hate rugby league. They've never never seen your head. Uh, give, give, give us your rundown. Tell us who you are. Yeah, I'm getting good at this spiel already. Um yeah, so obviously getting into politics now and a lot of people just remember me as a footballer. Um, yeah, definitely much more than that. Enjoyed my you know, football career. I did a lot of community work throughout my time at the Raiders and then I uh, was struck with a lot of injuries. So three ACL Ricos, groin off the bone, hammy off the bone, grade three pec tear, list goes on. Yep. Um, so had a lot of time on the sidelines and decided to set up the Terry Campisi Foundation in 2011. It was officially... Uh, DGR status and a not-for-profit in 2012 and ever since then we've just been doing a range of different um, Who knows? Different events um, and raising money for different organisations and um, charities, individuals, the like and uh, throughout that time and, and now our main focus is a youth program yep. where we do a 20-week um, mentor program with some youth in Queenbian, Goulburn, Canberra and Braidwood and then we do a trek. Uh, recently we've been going to Lara Pinta in the Northern Territory in Alice Springs uh, but now we're back to Kokoda. So 2023 there's 40 of us flying to Papua New Guinea to take on the Kokoda Trail and yeah it's just life changing and we absolutely love what we do and uh, we've got eight to ten volunteer mentors that spend um, so much time for the kids and then we also got the sleep bus that helps with the homelessness so we've been heavily involved in, with uh, bringing the sleep bus to town and then just a range of other donations that we give out to charities that we love we do a special forces challenge which is on the website now if you get on there and have a look um, that's our big uh, fundraiser of the year um, and then we donate to cam's cause because the special force guys the staff who run that uh, donate their time so we yeah try and help out everyone that helps out the the, the, foundation. the foundation yeah amazing, amazing. All, right, all right press start, start here pick, pick one press start. start street fighter 2 original yeah, yeah. yeah. press uh, i think you gotta press that start button again where is it no, oh, i don't know how, how do we start, start this bloody game? game i haven't, I haven't actually, actually played, played this one on, on here before <laughs> here we go here we go i've got it you need to press start yeah, and get in there. I'm, I'm press this one. There we what go. that button? Yeah, I'm on. on. Who are you going to be? I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll go, go random because I'm better than you. Better than you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll go right. You're yeah, the right. first on the list. All right. I'll go the, 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 the dude Ooh, with the sexy hair. All right. All right so, so the Special, special Forces Challenge, Challenge that, that came about, about that, that was, was kind of almost an accident, wasn't it? It was definitely an accident. Um, yeah, Jezza, I think you've interviewed Jezza already. Yep. Um, our main fundraising efforts were raffles, uh, auction auction activities, items, um, <laughs> cooking at Bunnings, barbecues and, and fairs and the like. Yep. Yep. And COVID hit. So how are we supposed to raise this money that we're, um, you know, that we're doing these treks to take these kids away? So at the time... Um, it was big on TV, SAS and Jezza. We I used to pick him up every morning about 5.30 to go to the gym. Um, and he used to get in the, in the car and imitate Aunt Middleton from the night before his episode. So yeah. anyway, this went on for a couple, of, a couple of weeks. And then just one day, it hit us in the car. We go, why don't we create our own special forces challenge? So anyway, so we did last year. The next day, I ran into to a good mate um, from school, Evelyn and Dave, uh, her husband. He's recently out of the forces and asked him would he be interested in this idea and he jumped on board straight away and pretty much from there we set the challenge up two months later we're running this um, this challenge and we've got 25 local um, identities and, and people um, to put their hand forward it's kind of like the city to surf yep. um, yeah set up where people just raise money to to put themselves through 30 hours of challenge uh, torture and they raise 
Massive, massive two hundred and forty thousand dollars. So forty thousand dollars. Two hundred forty. Two hundred forty thousand. Kind of just blew everyone away, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, no, there was yeah some big moments throughout the time. We were hoping to raise twenty thousand. Yeah. Um, Jezza and myself and you and Pamela, you know, we thought yeah maybe twenty grand to um, that this challenge would raise, but yeah, some of the guys raised you know over thirty thousand on their own. So it was just absolutely outstanding and wonderful, and yeah, one of the best experiences I've been through with the, cha- <laughs> with the charity, and then. Um, yeah, so now it's an annual thing. They've hit 188,000 to date, so Jeez. still a couple of weeks left until the until the big event. So, so two, two, two 40s inside. inside. Well, they 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 their original target was 300. I don't think they're going to hit 300, but yeah, they yeah, yeah. they've got to beat last year's target. Yeah. Well, they're in some pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a big, big challenge. Are we, we taking any more this year? Last, last year there was what 12 people? Nah, 20, 20, 22, I think it was. 22? Yeah. How many have we got this year? 25. We had an, a guy go down through a soccer injury with his um, with his kids. Yeah. So he's he's out, Chris, but he'll be on again in 2024. So we've got uh, 25 remaining. 25, 25 remaining. remaining. All right, All right cool. cool. And, and uh, uh, is anyone anyone, anyone like, like tilting, tilting on backing out? I mean, Greg, Greg who we've already, already talked to, to, I reckon he'd be the, the first to back out if you could. Oh, I reckon he's going to surprise you. Yeah. That, <laughs> we won't tell him that. Hopefully he doesn't watch this yeah, before the challenge. <laughs> but um, I reckon Greg's going to be good. There's definitely some standouts already. Yep. Yep. Um, but there is some people, like everyone thinks it's physical. It's definitely... Not the case. Uh, anyone out there that's been through selection before yep. definitely can tell you. Any, anyone that's been through, you know, army challenges and stuff through football, sport, whatever it might be, no, it's probably eighty percent mental. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's that, that barrier, barrier, right, that you're pushing the whole time. Yeah, it's it's you know, especially these guys. We've got real estate agents. We've got child um, care people. We've got um, yeah, a range of different real estate agents and the like. So. They never ever would have thought they would put themselves through something like this. It's yep. not an everyday activity for for sure. So yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we, we need, need to stress, stress that. These, these aren't people that are you know professional, professional athletes. athletes. They're, they're not uh, you know fit associated, associated in any way. way. They're, they're just, just business, business members from the community. community. That's right. Um, yeah, and it's it's there's a great uh, connection between the two. That these um, you know, people who are doing quite well in their life, um, you know, quite successful in their homes and, and the like, put themselves through 30 hours of pain and challenge and, you know, physical activity, mental, um, the mental barrier as well to give to some of these young kids who have grown up through this process their whole life. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot of similarities. I, I absolutely love the concept. It was, like you said, we stumbled across it, but it's just, um, yeah, such a good activity and, Everyone grows from it. The staff, the guys who were involved from the, from the ex, um, you know, who were in the special forces previously. Yep. Yep. Some of the guys are still in. Um, they they also grow, and obviously the recruits they learn so much from it about teamwork, about communication. Um, yeah. So it's it's yeah. I just love it so much, and you know we can't wait every year for it to come around. Yeah. So, so speaking, speaking of, of the kids, kids um, I, guess I guess that's, that's the main, main goal, goal right now. Right? Right? Is getting, getting these kids. kids to Dakota and I guess, I guess if people, people look, look at it briefly the, the thing is you're you're talk, talk, you, you, they, they see oh you're, you're taking a bunch of kids to Dakota, Dakota. they don't see, see anything more than that like, like what, what does it mean to these kids for this whole program oh like what's, what's involved and what, what does it bring to them yeah I guess um, they don't really know until they get involved so we do uh, mentoring so we meet weekly um, for 20 weeks um, as, as a group of eight, so we've got two volunteer mentors at, in each area, those areas that I mentioned previously. Yeah. Um, two mentors, a male and a female. We've got eight students in each area, or eight young people. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, they just grow, grow together, they connect, they build trust. Um, and then, the, obviously, the, the challenge of Kokoda or Lara Pinta, wherever we go, there's no phone reception, there's no service, so you're away from the world you're all that you can do is 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 think internally in your own mind and communicate with your peers and it's just there's something special about being in that environment having trust and and commitment to each other that it just yeah i don't know it it brings the best out of them and they learn so much about themselves and they they come back to to australia new people yeah Yeah. and 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 you've you've seen seen the success success that this has brought brought in the past right you've you've seen seen kids change their 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 life trajectory yeah, oh, 
number of times we've got some great support letters from families um, and, and the, the peers so um, a lot of the kids so in each area we try and take a, a previous um, young person to be a, a, a trainee yep. um, that's, that's what we call them and they're the voice between the, the kids and the, the mentors they help the mentors try and um, program what's what's in the weeks ahead yep. um, and if there's any issues or, or gaps or the young people are too um, I don't know, too shy or afraid to talk to the mentors that this trainee can, can do that, can, that's their role. Um, and in Braidwood especially, that's a great example, they've, they've pretty much every year there's about 12 young people that have been in the program previously that reapply to be that trainee. Yeah. yeah. So, so they, 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 they see, see the benefit of themselves, themselves and they, they want to pass that on to the next group of kids. That's right, and they want to volunteer their time yeah. to yeah. give back to, to their peers and to students and um, I guess show what they've learnt through this process as well. Now, yeah, some, some of these, some of these, these kids, kids, and it's, it's, not, it's, it's not hiding from, from they, they come, come from struggle town, right? they, 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 they come, come from hard backgrounds with, with you know, serious, serious disadvantages, disadvantages that, that, that a lot of people just, just don't know, know and, and this, 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 this can, can be life changing, changing for them. Definitely. Um, yeah, there is, like you said, we've got, you know, kids that have been on the spectrum, we've got kids out of, um, you know, foster care systems that they've been high trauma backgrounds as uh, generational so but we also try and mix um, you know kids who are leaders in their community so we've got volunteer RFS um, you know workers and, and, and people who are prefects and captains of their school so we try and um, you know mix the two it's probably yeah. one of the only you know times they do because yeah. normally at school they, they, they wouldn't mix they don't hang out together they um, you know rarely talk at school but in this environment they work together. It's, yeah. it, it's amazing to see the teamwork and the camaraderie um, from a program like this. It's, 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 it, it is, is something, something special, special and, and, and having been, been my small, small part involved in the, the um, organisation, it, it amazes me every year. year. You, you see, see these kids and they, and they turn, turn up at, at you know, know, the various, various different events we have and, 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 and the way, way they talk about the event and the way they, they feel about, about the whole thing. It really is... It, it, it's, it's something, something I never would have thought would have changed someone's life, but it clearly does. Yeah, and the thing that we love about it is um, we're community funded. Yeah. Um, we've received you know, small amounts of government funding, and um, because of that, we get to shape the program how we want. We don't need certain guidelines that we have to stick to. If Goulburn, for example, have a lot of kids from high trauma background struggling, struggling uh, with their mental health, we can shape the program to suit. If we're dealing with kids from Braidwood who are leaders in their community, we can get them to work with their community or to do extra training on um, some of their communication or whatever it is that that um, can benefit the community and benefit them as, as young people. Yeah. Um, so that's what we absolutely love about the program. We can uh, be flexible with days that we meet um, to suit. We can try and get the kids in the work. So a lot of young kids from Queenman last year worked in our restaurant in Tuggeranong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we try trying to get them in employment and whatever it is that, that, that uh, they need assistance with. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, well, we, we might leave it there. Um, um, that's, that's been, been good. good. Uh, you, know, you know, it's, it's, it's a really, really amazing, amazing thing, thing to be a part of and, and, and speaking, speaking from personal, personal experience. It's, it's a local, local charity that supports, that supports locally. You literally, literally see the money go into the town and you, you, you don't, don't get to see that with the big guys. You just don't. And that's not taking anything away from those big charities at all. They do great work. but. You know, you know, when, when you, you donate, donate five, five bucks, bucks, you don't see what happens there, there but here, yeah, you, you do. And, and, and it's, it's super, super, super cool, cool to see, and the kids, and everything we do, the sleep bus is amazing, um, helping, helping those people that find themselves, themselves without a home for a night is, is something that's chronically needed in a lot of places in Australia, and it's wonderful that we can do that here yeah. in a little, little country, country town. I couldn't agree more, and like I say, at every charity event, every... <laughs> Um, donation, the people who donate are the ones making a difference. It's not us. We we go out there and it's our passion to to bring on these events, to think of different ideas, but it's the people who donate. Every dollar counts. You know, the people who donate, they drive through Queenman and they see the sleep bus of a night time, they're the ones giving someone a safe bed for the night. Yeah. So um, everyone who donates can be involved, can feel, and I can assure you that we... Um, you know, we're so fortunate to have 
the generosity we do in the community um, and it's because of you that this charity is alive and kicking. Awesome. All right, all right then, then, make, make sure, sure you head, head over to player2.net.au, player check, check out all the uh, links, links to the a big, big event. event. You, can you can watch the event, event. It's on, it's on the 28th of January. January. Um, um, you're you're going to be playing, playing games 24, 24 hours again. again. We've got a, a buttload, buttload of prizes from all the big game companies. Ubisoft, Xbox, Sony, Sega, they're all donated a whole bunch of prizes, t-shirts, games, uh, merch, merch, whole bunch of things. things. We're, We're going to try, try and get a console to give away again um, because, you know, you need, you need a major, major prize, right? right? And, and then uh, you, you, you can end up by just donating $5. $5. $5. Every $5, $5 donate goes in the draw for a major, major prize. We'll be we'll giving away spot prizes, prizes on the night. night. Make, make sure you watch on our Twitch channel and get all the details of player2.net.au and including the donation link there. Thank you for joining us and make sure you support the big event and we'll be talking again soon. See ya.